a unique challenge I had to overcome as a woman in cybersecurity is unconscious gender bias. So um, as an experienced uh, professional who transitioned into cybersecurity mid-career, I was very comfortable in the work that was assigned to me. Um, and I was also comfortable um, asking questions when needed. Um, during a roundtable performance review where I wasn't present, I was informed that a male colleague had provided the feedback that I, um, I come off as overconfident. And so a few other leaders at the table challenged this individual and asked him, if you were, if Arlene was a man, would you say the thing? And so um, this is uh, something that's a, one example of so many that we may experience as women in cybersecurity. However, I don't see it as a disadvantage. I see it as an opportunity to really show ourselves and be present. And um, if there is one key advice I would like to impart on, um, on you today, uh, there are two gems. First is uh, starting a career or transitioning into a career in cybersecurity can be very intimidating. Um, there's a common misconception that you have to be IT or a technical person to join the field. This is not true. Um, cybersecurity covers a large spectrum of roles from sales, project management, uh, disaster recovery, risk management, et cetera. And um, for those with IT background or for those with business background, uh, there is so much that we can bring to the table for cybersecurity. Um, and then more importantly, and one of my favorite quotes is, if you're meant to achieve great things, don't make yourself small just to make others comfortable. And this is great advice from Rachel Hollis. Um, so please be confident, make your voice heard, um, assert yourself, um, assert your presence because you matter. Cybersecurity needs you.